Good morning and welcome to my blog, Wisdom for Today. I'm glad you decided to join me this morning. And today I want to talk to you about the powerful gift of kindness. So it's the day after Valentine's Day. And those beautiful roses that you received yesterday, well, they're appearing a little bit more shabby this morning. From pressing them up against your nose, they may be bruised. A couple petals may have fallen off. And that wonderful box of chocolates that you received, well, you put that away to avoid those extra pounds. And that delicious meal you ate yesterday, well, now it's represented by a few extra pounds. But wasn't it a wonderful celebration? Because it was a time that you got to show appreciation for the people whom God has given you to love. And that is a great gift indeed. In fact, oftentimes, people express at someone's death, when someone's taken away from them, how they wish they'd showed them more kindness when given the opportunity. How they wish they had told them they loved them. You know, kindness is a byproduct of love. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, it says that love is kind. And love indeed is kind. But not only is kindness a byproduct of love and an agent that bonds us together with people whom we love, but kindness is also good for our health. Did you know that the, medical, the American Medical Association has found that showing kindness can lengthen your life? Dr. David Arch Hamilton wrote in a paper recently that showing random acts of kindness releases a hormone called oxytocin, and oxytocin causes a chemical release called nitrate oxide, which dilates the blood vessels and gives us lower blood pressure. And also, the American Medical Association found that people 55 years and older who volunteer at two or more organ organizations have an impressive 44% lower likelihood of dying early. And that's the leading cause of health. It also shows that people who use the words please and thank you are more likely to exercise. They're more likely to complain of pains and aches. And kindness, showing acts of kindness, can release stress, anxiety, and depression. So kindness can help us a lot in this world. Maybe that's why the Apostle Paul tells us in Ephesians 4, verses 32, that we're to be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as Christ has forgiven us. Kindness is forgiving. Kindness is courteous, is courteous. And kindness enhances our life. I think that's the attribute of Jesus that I enjoy the most, is that he is kind. In times of great depression and pain, I know I can come to him and he can lift me up. And when I read the Gospels, I'm overwhelmed by Jesus' compassion for the sick and the yelling and his kindness in offering his life so I can know God the Father. I thank God for God's kindness. And as Jesus said to his apostles, as I have loved you, so love one another. So as we go out into our world today, Let's take the time to be courteous. Let's take the time to be kind. Because I think we show Jesus' love the greatest when we're kind. I'm looking forward to seeing you this Sunday. God's blessings and have a great day.